I've seen a lot of people looking for files to make these Valentine's Day cards that hold the crayons in it. I'm going to show you how you can do it in Cricut Design Space. First, I'm going to go to Images, and then I'm going to search my images for a skeleton frame um, by typing skeleton. I found it. I like this one. I also know I'm going to need this piece. When I'm done, I'm going to put a little owl on it, so I might as well grab the owl now, too. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Let's try that one. Okay, I will need you later. We're going to start with these. Okay, let's make this four inches wide. And now I want this to be a solid piece um, so that I can put the owl in there and have it be colored in. So I'm going to use contour. I'm going to click on the center of the piece. And now it's a solid frame or a solid scalloped rectangle piece. So now let's go to here and click on white because we want white so we can color Mr. Owl. All right. Mr. Owl is probably going to take up about that much space. So now if I click on him and change him from cut to draw, it looks like that. And he can get colored in. All right. I'm going to select both things and go align and um, center horizontally so Mr. Owl is more centered. Okay, so now we have to make the little pieces to hold the crayon part. So I only want two crayons, so I'm going to go to contour, turn off this line, and two of the scallops, and this is going to just be the cut for the um, outer part of the scallop. Now I need a second one of these, so I'm going to right click and go duplicate, move that over here. And I'm going to flip it horizontally so it's facing back towards the other one. Holding my shift key, I can now select two things and say align to the top. And now they're both lined up perfectly. I'm going to group those together so they stay together. Okay, so now let's make the little cut holes that the crayons go slide through. I'm just going to use a shape. I am going to make that 0.5, which is a half of an inch. Just plenty big for those little crayons. Okay, so now I'm going to need a total of four of these. So I can either right click and du duplicate, or I can put duplicate up there. All right. Oh, you know what? This probably would have been smarter. I would have made two. Hold shift. And then align them to the top. And then let's see if I group those. I can then duplicate those. There. Look at that. That looks good. Okay, so if I click on that one, hold the shift, click on that one, I can align to the left to make sure they're all aligned. And then instead of grouping these, I'm going to weld these together. This is why when I weld this, this becomes one piece that I can then slice from the card nice and easily. So I'm going to move all of this up into my card. Okay, so now I can select just the welded um, dots, which you can see here all four of them are one piece. Hold my shift key and click on the scalloped rectangle and go slice. And now it's sliced all those holes straight through the scallop frame. And I can tell it's sliced through and there's openings there because I can see the grid lines. 
Okay, so where did my owl go? He went behind. So I'm going to take this whole thing and go arrange and move it to the back. See how it, everything popped to the front? Pretty cool. Okay, so now I want to take these scallops that are going to be cut and folded up. Hold the shift key in my scallop rectangle and I'm attaching them. This is so the cricket knows exactly where to cut those scallop edges. My little owl disappeared again. Arrange to the back. And actually, I could make Mr. Owl a little bigger. Oh, he could go this big, and then his little feet can look like they're sitting on the crayon. I'm sorry, I just thought that was really cute. Okay, so now I'm going to go shift, hold him, align, several horizontally. Okay, so now I have to attach this Mr. Owl to the card piece. So I have both of them selected and go attach. So now when I hit make it, it's all going to come up on one piece. It's going to show that this has pieces that are being drawn and cut. So first it'll have me use my marker. It'll draw the owl and then it'll come back and cut the scallop shape, these circles for the crayons to go through, plus these little um, curved pieces, which make it so that the crayon can fold up. And then once that's all done, it'll look a lot like that. I hope this helped you to understand how to make one of these all on your own.